Hello, hello, hello everyone from wherever you're watching me from. So this morning I want to share one or two lessons that I learned uh, recently and also to encourage someone out there. So one day, <laughs> you like to hear my story. So one day I was um, perusing the street of Facebook and I saw a conversation. One woman was complaining about the diaper she bought for uh, that her husband uh, helped her to buy and some people were commenting and I was reading the comments and all that. You know, you don't know all the things that go on on social media, right? You just write things sometimes and you don't know where someone is watching or reading or taking note of one lesson or the other. So that day, I was just reading and reading and reading and I caught a lesson from all what I read, like people's responses to her. She was complaining that a particular diaper is not what she wanted, like, you know, the pants kind of diaper. And she was complaining that, oh, how will you remove the pants diaper when there is poop on it? And also... I had that same, you know, mindset like, I don't like pants diaper and all this kind. So people were commenting under that post that she, there is a place to tear off the diaper. You don't have to remove it like a pant. When you are done with the diaper, maybe your child has pooped on it or a lot of peas in it. You just tear it by the sides and just roll it. There's a tape. Oh my God, I had trained one son <laughs> that is almost turning five, five year old now. I am on my second and I didn't know. I used pants diaper at some point for the, the other one and I've started using pants, panties for the second one because it's still under training, potty training. And I'm like, I've trained two children, like two children <laughs> and I don't know this, you know. It's dawned on me. So, you know, within this week when I wore the pan diaper for the almost two-year-old, I now saw that it's actually possible to tear it by the sides. Can you just imagine? So, through learning, the lesson is that through learning there is no hand. You see, in your personal life, in your career, in your business, in your relationship, your marriage, you may think that you have known a lot. You say, oh... I've been working for 10 years, I've been in this career for 7 years, I've been married for 10 years, and you may not know basics, you know, I'm on my second child, and I didn't know, yeah, that you have to tear it by the side, until some people were discussing it, you know, there are some things, there are some knowledge that you need to have, foundational knowledge, you know, in your career, in your business, that if you don't have them, you continue to struggle. So please know that learning has no boundaries. You know, H, don't say because I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm older than this person. So this person cannot pass value to me. Don't say because I'm more experienced than this person. Don't say because I, I, I've been training children before this person was born. If I didn't take my time to be reading people's comments on that post, honestly, I would still be struggling trying to remove his trouser before, you know, and all the messy things, you know. But now I learned from something that looks like a joke or insignificant. What are you learning today? You know, there was a day I was reading uh, this Bible uh, version devotional. And I learned something new about honoring parents. Honestly, we have all our, they have always been telling us, honor your father and your mother, this one, that one. The way the preacher, the writer explained that particular portion that day, I was like, I have never had this kind of rema. So my people, what am I trying to say? Sometimes you get the needed word for your life. You get the needed, you know, thing that you can hold on to from unexpected places, 
from unintended places you get the value you get the you know the formula to what you have been struggling with in rare places sometimes if you don't open your mind to receive that learning i'm telling you you continue to struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle i will tell you another lesson i learned when we're moving from our former house to our new house you know we've been packing and packing and packing our things together so you know the kitchen is always the last place where you pack let me give you that information when you are moving from your house you know you go from one room to the other to the last is the kitchen because you know the kitchen is always filled with stuff if you are like me that like food <laughs> so the kitchen was like almost the last for me to clean I think the toilet and bedroom were the last that I cleaned, but the kitchen was almost like where I was dumping major things before we now sort it inside the boxes. So, you know, I was trying to clean all the uh, kitchen cupboards and all those things, and I discovered that I had separate and multiple spices, spice bowls, spice uh, cans and all those things curry oregano and all those you know we almost going to like 10 if no more and i was telling myself i want to decongest this kitchen what should i do okay the idea came to my head that i can actually pour all the spices inside just one can and mix everything together and use it like that to cook for the number of days we are still going to use in that old house and that's what i did to decongest and continue to decongest and continue to decongest. When we go to our new house, I discovered that why would I be wasting three minutes, five minutes on just putting spices in my food when I'm cooking? And that became a formula for me to use in my kitchen now, even though I'm not under pressure, not moving anywhere and all those things, I'm not decongesting anything. But it became a formula. There are some times that inspiration comes when you don't even think about it. There are some times you get, you know, some exposure to something, a solution. Please be sensitive. Be sensitive. Many people continue to struggle in their business, in their career, in their marital life because they are not sensitive to the right information. They are not sensitive to the right inspiration from within. Do you know that now when I'm cooking, I no longer, you know, waste time uh, pouring one more ingredient, one more ingredient. I just have a spice bowl where everything is inside and then I just take like three teaspoons and or two teaspoon depending on quantity of food I just put it inside and everything you know within short time I finished cooking this was an inspiration that came from within when I wasn't even thinking about spices or cooking or anything there are some things that God is teaching you in your daily life there are some things that God is bringing to you from making other people talk about it to help your life please be sensitive you know that as you go on a daily basis you are able to catch the lessons you are able to grab all the lessons that will make life easy for you that will make things easier for you that will make your marriage more beautiful be open-minded when you are alone be inspired be sensitive to the inspiration within and catch it and begin to implement it many of you you use five years for something God wants you to use one year for because you are not catching the lessons you are not catching the rema you are not getting all the information that you need to make the thing easy for you are you overwhelmed today I have an encouragement for you are you overwhelmed are you tired are you weak are you weary Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 says thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee the Lord can only give you rest and peace when your mind is stayed on Him. Train your mind to stay on God, not to stay on people, not to depend on environment, not to depend on the world, but train your mind to be, you know, set on God. The Bible says He will keep you in perfect peace when your mind is stayed on God because you trust in Him. What is your trust on? What, what do you trust in? What's your mind, you know, holding on to? 
mm, people, someone somewhere will help me. Someone somewhere promised me this. Let me tell you something. Man will fail, but God can never fail. Let your mind stay on God. Trust in Him wholeheartedly, and He will guide your steps. He will inspire you, and He will make all your burdens lighter and give you peace. So that is what I have for you, the lessons I wanted to share and the encouragement I want to guide your heart with all diligence for how to fit at the issues of life. Thank you. Bye-bye.